السلام عليكم. I am Maha bint Mashari Al Saud, and I am a Saudi woman. This year we mark the 90th Saudi National Day, which will be celebrated on Wednesday, the 23rd of September, in Saudi Arabia. This day is of great national importance as it marks the renaming of Kingdom of Najd and Hijaz to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia by King Abdulaziz ibn Saud in 1932. Under the reign of His Majesty, custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has made remarkable and unprecedented political, social, economic, and developmental achievements. These achievements, which are mainly the pillars of the Vision 2030 reform program, have demonstrated that the Saudi leadership is committed to its pledge to build a state for the future and to consolidate its position in the G20. We have embarked on an era paving the way for economic prosperity and to give the future generations national and international entrepreneurs and luminaries. This year, Saudi Arabia has taken presidency of the G20 summit. As hosts of the Leaders' Summit on November 21, 2020, the international spotlight will be on Riyadh. It will mark the first time the Kingdom hosts a G20 summit and the first time it is hosted in the MENA region. Saudi Arabia has led with heart, vision and grace during these unprecedented times using a virtual platform to bring together dedicated professionals and trailblazing members of our community engaging all G20 leaders. As lead co-chair for Migration and Young Societies, it is my role to work alongside some of the world's most renowned international experts that bring to us a wealth of research to help us formulate policy based on evidence. As every Saudi citizen, family and household celebrates the kingdom, we should reflect on the opportunities our nation presented us to achieve great accomplishments for this country. I, like many Saudi citizens, am grateful to my nation for the many opportunities my country has provided us to empower us to live our dreams. I have seen what we can achieve for ourselves, for our families, and for our society as a whole when we have access to opportunities. We are witnessing a transformation in Saudi Arabia as we break the barriers and create the conditions in which every person can live, work, and thrive. Providing access to opportunities is a key driver for sustainable development. By empowering women, we empower societies. The culture of Saudi Arabia is a rich one that has been shaped by our Islamic heritage, our historical role as an ancient trade center, and our precious Bedouin traditions. When the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was formed in 1932, King Abdelaziz bin Abdurrahman dedicated himself to preserving Arab traditions and culture. And his sons and successors have done the same. We have been fortunate as a nation to have this exposure to different cultures. And as of today, more than 30% of the Saudi population are expats. These generations have contributed to our nation's accomplishments. The Vision 2030 unveiled by the Crown Prince aims to make Saudi Arabia a regional economic powerhouse. To carry out its ambitious wel welfare and development projects, our highly qualified expats become an added value to the economy. As a physician, an educationalist, and academic, I believe education is the spine of every nation. The better the education, the better the nation. I believe in the power of youth. I stand for a different education. A different education in which the value of the teacher is well understood and the teacher is well valued as a treasure. I stand for a different education where students will not just learn, but will be inspired to produce 
great and noble things. I have witnessed hundreds of young men and women, future doctors, scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs of this great nation take an oath at the commencement ceremonies. The making of a promise of a life of service to our nation and to humanity. I am so proud to be standing here on this memorable day, and I extend my best wishes and congratulations on Saudi National Day.